Good morning, everybody. It's 11 minutes past 7 o'clock right now, and time to visit with some animals from the Blank Park Zoo. We have Megan Davies here from the Blank Park Zoo with a furry friend. Kind of a furry friend because they kind of look furry, but we were just talking about these creatures yesterday, Jackie. Absolutely. Good morning, Megan. Thank you so much for being here. Who did you bring in with you today? Thanks. This is Willow, and she's a rose haired tarantula. Uh, these guys are found in Chile. Um, she is a female, so she's a little bit larger than the males. Females are generally about twice the size as males. There you go. We were talking about the fact in California, they're a lot more active right now uh, because of the heat situation there, and the boys are looking for girls right now. So you got to watch where you're walking if you're on hiking trails. But around here, we don't have to worry about these, do we? No. So there are tarantulas found in North America, but they're much, much, much smaller. So okay. they're not going to be this large. So these are generally the larger ones are found in Central and South America, Africa, and Asia. Asia. So those are the ones you'd have to be more careful of. So what should we know about tarantulas? Because this is one of those critters that people see and they immediately start freaking out. Right. So she is an arachnid. She is a spider. She's got eight legs. She's got a head, thorax, and abdomen. Um, but she's really not going to harm you. She's looking for bugs. Mm -hmm. So her favorite things are crickets at the zoo, but she can eat beetles, small lizards, mammals, oh, really? um, lots of different types of bugs. And bugs carry diseases that can hurt people. But generally, tarantulas don't carry too many that bother us. So that's the most important thing about spiders you should know about is they're helping you out with your bug situation. I they don't want nothing that, to know, do with you. So They're not building a, a big web to capture you. No, and, and no. She does build a web, but it's on the ground. So, <laughs> so she doesn't drop down from trees or anything like this and leap on you or anything? Nope. nope. She's going to be in a nice little burrow with like a fallen down log or maybe she finds a divot in the ground she finds very comfy and she builds a little web right there. All right. Now, these are one of the creatures that you might think of with uh, Halloween, believe it or not, not too far away in the future. And when it comes to Halloween, the Blank Park Zoo does it up big. Yes, I love Night Eyes. Night Eyes is coming up. Fall is coming here. So we've got some cool Night Eyes birthdays coming up. And what is that Night Eyes birthday parties? So uh, we actually have special time slots on Thursdays and Fridays when we're doing Night Eyes at 530. You guys can have a party at the zoo and then after the fun party we've got you can hang out and do trick-or-treating at night eyes all right and you can also do that on sun saturdays and sundays as well so this is mid-october yep we're that about. yep we're going a little in the future here so mm -hmm. yeah it'll be ready to go and well a lot of people fun. are planning for parties down the road, you know, so if you're wanting to do something special for the kiddos, this is a great option and I imagine this will be filling up very quickly. So you want to be thinking about it now as yes, opposed I've to I've already got some books as, so. say, oh, as, a, as yes. opposed to October. You want to be thinking about this now. So if people want a book or they want to learn more about what's all involved with the birthday parties, where do they go for that details or where do they sign up? It's going to be at blankparkzoo.com. Click on plan your visit and then down by birthdays. There you go. Laura. Okay. So make your plans accordingly. But we are making plans accordingly for a little later on tonight because because a Zoo Brew happening once again. And this is one of the most popular uh, artists that we have collected here at Zoo Brew because this is one of the more fun things that goes on. Absolutely. And you have a uh, firsthand experience with uh, the people that are going to be performing on the stage tonight. So what can we experience if we head out after hours for the zoo tonight at uh, Zoo Brew? So it starts at 530 and we've got Piano Palooza, which is dueling pianos. It's a little different than what you would imagine normal Zoo Brew is. They're definitely more interactive with the crowd. They've got your favorite songs going on, and they really play off the crowd's energy. So if you get lots of energy going, they'll be playing lots of different fun songs for you. Absolutely. So Zoo Palooza is going to be happening later on tonight. Remember, this is after the normal hours of the Blank Park Zoo, starting at 530 until 9. Must be 21 and older to come out to this great event. So we want to pack the Zooplex, because that's where they're going to be hanging out, and they'll take song requests and just have a ton of fun, while still being able to enjoy the animals and, of course, brews and everything else at Zoo Brew. Absolutely. It's going to be a lot of fun tonight. All yeah. Right. Now, normally this would be the end of Zoo Brew, but that's not the case. Want to make sure people are aware Zoo Brew is going to continue, right? That's right. There's one more week of Zoo Brew. So next week, uh, September 5th, there's going to be the Standing Hampton. And that's a very, very popular band. That one got rained out. So the beginning of the year, yeah. Yep. So we're going to have them back, and we're really excited about it. There you it. go. Summer's not over yet. We're still going to keep celebrating for the next couple of weeks, both some beautiful weather to get out there and enjoy later on today. So lots of great events always going on. The Zoo Normal Hours is open today. Go out and enjoy on a beautiful day here in central Iowa. Uh, become a member. Save some money on great events that you do have coming up. How can we get all the details on those? Memberships. Um, so it's only $89 for a family, so it only takes three visits to actually pay for your membership. Mm -hmm. 
membership right. and you get into special events, discounts at Night Eyes, free to Zubru. That's what most people get their memberships for. So it's definitely really fun and that's all on our website. Yeah, and you mentioned about the uh, the Night Eyes birthday parties earlier as well too. And if you're a member, you get a discount on those parties too, right? Yep, that's right. So you do get uh, quite a big discount on your birthday parties if you book with us. So it is definitely worth it. All right, so uh, this time of year, when I, especially tonight when, they, when the temperatures are a little bit cooler, are any particular animal gonna be a little bit more active than normal? We should definitely check out our snow leopard um, and our tigers and lions since it's been so hot. Uh, they do like their AC, mm -hmm. uh, which is in their indoor enclosure. So they'll probably be out prowling around more than usual and our Japanese macaques okay. since they love that colder weather. All right, so you have a chance to go out and really uh, you know, see what the animals are like uh, in their natural habitat and when the weather is cooler too. Absolutely. All and right. they might be active like our tarantula is uh, this <laughs> morning. So remind us uh, again some fun details about your guest today. Um, she's got these cool little hairs on uh, her bottom that she can flick. Um, she wants to keep her venom for her food. So she's got these cool uh, finely coiled hairs on the back that she flicks and she usually goes for the eyes with those and they are just really irritating and itchy so if something were to try to eat her they're probably going to close their eyes and back away when those hairs start hitting their eyes so that's her first defense and then of course she's got her two little fangs right up there that she'll okay. use if Ooh. she needs to what are some so of the fun. natural predators for uh, an animal like uh, like a tarantula do they have very many beside uh, humans? They do, so other tarantulas. Other tarantulas? <laughs> you got to worry about your own? Even bigger tarantulas. Um, there's some that are bigger than your hand, Lou, so they're very, very big. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Willow's pretty small. And then there's also snakes and um, other larger mammals that would try to get a snack on her. Okay. Unbelievable. But uh, thank you so much for sharing with us today and all the great events that are happening at the Blank Park Zoo. If you want more details, head to their website, blankparkzoo.com. Have a wonderful morning. Thank you, Megan, for joining us today.